Well, the state of North Dakota has now selected its delegates to go to the Republican National Convention in August. Even though Rick Santorum came in first and Ron Paul second in the North Dakota caucus, Mitt Romney actually won the state. But did that win come through the railroading of the system? Ben has the reality check you won't see anywhere else. Well, for months I've been trying to explain to you how this system works. And now that we have a state, North Dakota, that has finished selecting its delegates and is ready to send them on to the national convention, the system should be much more clear. Unfortunately, how those delegates in North Dakota were selected was anything but fair. Let's begin with how the North Dakota vote played out. North Dakota held its caucus on March 6th, Super Tuesday. When voters went to the polls, it was effectively a straw poll. Didn't really mean anything. Even so, Rick Santorum finished with about 40% of the vote, Ron Paul with 30%, and Mitt Romney finished third with 26%. Now flash forward to the North Dakota State Convention last weekend. 1,700 people showed up to vote on who would be selected to go to Tampa and the Republican National Convention. In all, 101 people filled out applications to become delegate candidates, and 25 of those 101 would be selected to become North Dakota's official delegates. That is why there were a lot of people who were surprised and even disappointed when the GOP Committee on Permanent Organization handed out this ballot. It's already pre-printed with all the names, and you can like be quick about it and just check this little box up here. So why these 25 names? They were names of people pre-selected by the GOP nominating committee. Scott Erlinson, who was a delegate at the North Dakota caucus, and says the four questions asked on the delegate application may have played a role in how those 25 people got their names on the nominating committee's suggested list. In the application to be a national delegate, they had like four questions on there. It was basically how much money have you donated to the party? How many years have you been with the party? And that may explain why, out of 25 delegate positions, the list passed around by the GOP leadership included seven state legislators, North Dakota's First Lady, the state's Attorney General, a U.S. Senator from North Dakota, and a U.S. Congressman. The other bigger problem, though, with this slate, as was pointed out during the convention, Many people have identified themselves as Mitt Romney supporters publicly, and they've endorsed him publicly, they're on, they're on his list, and they have the majority. They have almost 60% of the delegates of the 25 presented are Mitt Romney. Now, you're going to caucus, but they're not bound, and I appreciate the party changed the rules. Since you were chairman, they changed the rules. To make them unbound. The fact that they're unbound, why would we restrict the democratic process of allowing all the delegates to vote for all of the candidates in a paper ballot? Stan, this is a railroad job. If you can make it about Ron Paul, and it's not. So to be clear here, 60% of the names on the GOP's prepared list were Romney delegates when he got only 26% of the vote. And to ensure that all the names were made public, the caucus chair, Stan Stein, had the remaining 76 names put up on a large screen, which changed periodically. At nearly the end of the meeting, a 20-year-old woman stood up, though, and asked a question that so many people then and even now are wondering. I truly mean to be respectful, but I just want someone to help me understand why I'm here as a delegate, because I was under the misconception, I guess, that by coming here I would be allowed to look at a ballot that's arranged by no preference as to who has the most experience or clout in the Republican Party, but not, not having to do with anything but the fact that they are equal because they are a delegate at the state convention and that we can go through it alphabetized, not segregated by a selective group of individuals that was decided on yesterday. I mean, I didn't get the opportunity to weigh in on that, but I think, right, I understand that, and I, I guess I just disagree with that process. So here's what you need to know. You weren't on the committee, ma'am. That could be the slogan for this entire primary season for Republicans. What has become so clear as we monitor these events from state to state is that in this primary, voters are given the appearance of having a voice and a hand in the process when clearly they do not. At the end of the day, Mitt Romney takes North Dakota. But based on how that situation played out, it would be nearly impossible to say that he won. He finished third in the straw poll. 
but here's how the delegates have come out. 16 delegates for Mitt Romney, they will go to Tampa. Seven delegates for Rick Santorum and two delegates for Ron Paul. Not because the voice of the people was heard, but because the GOP leadership in North Dakota gamed the system. And that is Reality Check.